You know, Boosh, after a couple of drinks, sometimes I wish you would emulate this shit. Oh, real? Hey there, I am the Mighty Plantain. Boosh is with me. We are at EM Destroyer's Place. You'll probably hear him in the background as part of the peanut gallery. <laughs> but we are doing the Quiet Man traditional Irish whiskey. And sometimes when you get yep. a little drunk, you need to shut the fuck up. I kind of am quiet sometimes, <laughs> but when I get drunk enough, I can be kind of chatty. Exactly. Now, one of the other things, though, Roddy, uh, the quiet man. You, you. I actually asked you about this earlier. You, you never it. saw. You never saw the movie, The Quiet Man. No, I was never really into okay. the old westerns. Well, it's not really a western. Uh, well, you said Clint it's, Eastwood, so I, no, it was oh, John, John Wayne. Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which actually was a good movie. It's different between John it's, Wayne and Clint Eastwood. It's anyway. actually, it's actually a boxing movie. It has okay. to do with boxing, kind of. But you actually got to see that movie. Well, I'll put but it on anyway, to do list. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to get into that. But. Alongside, it's a wonderful life and uh, uh, Casablanca. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> wonderful life. <laughs> Casablanca, maybe. maybe. But <laughs> wonderful life, no. All right. But uh, this is. Uh, was this a local brewer, brewer, uh, no. distillery, or no. is it actually? Bush might have had a couple of drinks. Yes, I have. I am completely so Bush is toastified. <laughs> well, I, I had Obama. Bush had Obama. I has, oh, I, no, I didn't have Obama. Maybe his wife. You mean her His husband? <laughs> no, Michelle was the first bangable Man. first lady <laughs> that I've seen in forever. That's true. Yeah. But no, I, I picked this up because it showed up in the, uh, the Ibotta app with a $4 off offer. I'll post a link down in the, the uh, description, but I bought is really nifty. Sometimes you come across some brews, whiskeys, and stuff <coughs> that you want to check out. I've been buying Pinnacle Vodka against my better nature for the longest time because it was on sale for 10 bucks for a 750 ml at uh, Hannaford, and then I'd get a $3 coupon through I bought it, so I buy it. Coupon? Coupon. Coupon. And I get three bucks back through PayPal. This was uh, 34 bucks at Stompers over in Holden. Yep. We made our second pilgrimage there. Bill, I still fucking hate you and love you at the same time <laughs> for turning me on to the place because I walk in and it's like overload. They've got stuff I can't find at my local stores. And I don't know what to buy. And it's like, like you said, it's, it's a selection. Mm-hmm. Do, uh, something overload. <laughs> so this overload. was this was on sale there for thirty four bucks, and I'm getting four dollars back through PayPal. So again, I'll I'll post the link down in the description. Make sure to check out Ibotta. But this is an oak bourbon cask matured whiskey, hmm. blended and bottled in dairy. Don't say if it's Dairy, Maine, or Dairy, dairy like Maine. from the dairy, movie? could be Dairy, New Hampshire. <laughs> dairy, New Hampshire. Um, I'm assuming it's overseas, somewhere in Ireland, because it says it's a traditional Irish whiskey. It's a blend. Um, we've been yakking about this way we've too We've been long. talking about it, and it's been sitting on the table here, and I've been I've been trying to get into it. <laughs> Boosh has been just picking this up randomly yeah, and, like, and stroking it. <laughs> No, giving been, it a little bit of this. I've been to try and He's try an and eye in the quiet the, man. I've been trying to He open wants it, it to become an aggressive man. I, I know there's at least one person watching this video who's probably really enjoying what I'm doing right now. Uh, is it Boosh? Let me guess. <laughs> it is Boosh. <laughs> well, the thing is, I don't. I haven't watched any of the videos. But there's been a little bit of this from Boosh here and there. For a, long, for a there. long time. He's been picking it up all evening and like... Would you just friggin' open the damn thing? That was my he point. He's going to the bathroom because it's what about the right size is. That's Shut up over there. Is, too big. He's been he's been trying to get into this all evening. I was gonna take tonight off from filming, but you know what? <laughs> well, for one, I, I'm, more, I'm giving in. And I'm, wait, did you hear that pop? It did. It was. A bit about <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> we all know what's what that whistling sound? It's Boosh. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, sorry, buddy. This one's kind of a little off the rails, but you know what? This is this is what it's fucking like hanging out with us on any given night, honestly. Yep. And you know what? Uh, you crap on me a few, three or four more times, I'm gonna. No. <laughs> I'm out of here. You're not gonna drive out of here. No, it's it's fifteen or sixteen more I'm times. Out of here. <laughs> so it is a nice looking golden whiskey. It's pretty light in color. Got a little bit of a yellow tinge to it. 
Yeah, it's been... It has been aged in barrels. Bush, how can something. you tell it's been aged in barrels? Because of the darkness. Yeah, it, it usually any whiskeys. any any whiskeys are usually white clear to begin with. So, mm-hmm. and technically, you can call it a whiskey if it's at least kissed the inside of a barrel, but those would be white. That's got some decent legs on it. That's sticking to the glass pretty good there. It smells like a good traditional whiskey. And it does smell like an Irish blended because they tend to be yeah. a little less um, distinct. I got a smooth overall well, aroma. I'm getting hints of sweetness. I'm trying to think what's the other Irish whiskey that I've actually tried recently. Was it? I think it was the Jameson, uh, the, All Jameson's but it was the Irish. Jameson, Ooh, Jameson the cask, cask ones. I think. Did you do the uh, Black series, which was in the. Stout well, it was casks? one of our videos. I can't remember yeah. which one. Or there was the one in the IPA casks. They were both yeah. solid, but can't go wrong. I just can't Jameson. think of the smell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. I'm getting a hint of sweetness. It ha- it has almost a a um, Johnny Walker smell to it. Yeah, well, there's a hint of which is in the finish. kind of in the same area, but still. Yeah. All right. Here we Scotch. go. What do you think? It's going down easy. It, really it, easy. It swallows nice and smooth, but then in the finish. There's a lot of alcohol. It, it, it'll clear the sinuses. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Um, but that sweetness that I was getting, the aroma carries through. I'm almost. I'm getting toffee and caramel, maybe. Yep. I'm getting the harshness of a of a uh, uh, bourbon more. I can see that because I'm getting some toasty notes and a little bit of uh, woodiness from the barrel. And yep. bourbons tend. Granted, the only difference between a bourbon and a whiskey is where they're made. Right. But bourbons do tend to have a little bit more of that woodiness mm-hmm. and the char to them. Actually, it's a very easy, easy drinking whiskey. Yeah. I'm actually getting a little bit of fruitiness on my second sip. Like, I'm getting that maybe pineapple on the little bit, a little bit of the back. Uh, of the B, uh, god damn it. The finish? The, yeah, finish. Here okay. we go. <laughs> Actually, overall, very well put together for a for a $30 bottle of whiskey. Um, it's not bad. No. I would actually buy this one again. I think this is honestly the, the I mean, granted, we know the issues with Pinnacle and the flavored vodkas from them. Um... Besides those, this is probably the best thing I've gotten it through, and I bought a coupon. Mm, that's true. Really, it's actually not a bad, not a bad yeah. whiskey at all. I mean, it I would spend be good. more on it than some of the others, but it. It might. would be good just sipping, like we are, mm-hmm. or good mixed. Yeah. What some, would you mix it with? Probably Coke. I would just throw it down with some Coke. Um, I can almost think that some fruit juices might work. Like I said, I'm getting that it does hint have of that fruitiness. F- that hint of fruitiness behind it. Like a cranberry or a pineapple juice or something like yeah. that might work. Or lemonade. I know that's getting discussed in the background <laughs> there because there are, there are folks here who mix Actually, everything. Actually, yes, lemonade, lemonade would probably, if it's not <laughs> fruity like Boosh. If it's not mixed too strongly, it will actually won't taste that good, I don't think. But if it's mixed properly, it would be good with lemonade, I think. And joining M Destroyer in the, the peanut gallery, we've got M, who's been commenting on videos for a while, but finally here in person. Yep. And Cooper's hanging out, looking somewhat relaxed, but still a little nervous. He's not sure about <laughs> we get, Boosh. We get to, we get to see if he if he likes Captain and Coke. No. no let's, not, let's not turn somebody else's dog into an alcoholic. It was fine back yeah, when Yeah, it was fine when dog. we did that to your sister. But. <laughs> oh. 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 Hey, does she watch these? Nope. <laughs> All right, good. Oh, no. Are you, are you, are Boom. You, are, you, are, you, are you implying that I would defend that comment if she did? Well, no. No, Okay. Because we were somewhat <laughs> responsible for her alcoholism back in the day. We were? We. Who's we? I didn't drink in front of her till you guys started hanging out. And oh, my okay. kid's sister would come over from next door and think we were cool. No, your sister was old enough at that time. Nah, almost. She was four years younger than us, Boosh. We started drinking four years before she did. Anyway. Um, yeah, but still. That's beside the point. I think 
I think yeah, but we didn't keep an actually, eye on you, buddy. We didn't actually go out. We didn't go out there. Go out to your place until like 2004. No, yeah, she was old enough at that point. So, okay, enough family history. I think you guys have heard enough. The Quiet Man traditional Irish whiskey is pretty fucking is good. It very good. What would you guys rate it as? Um, we don't typically do the ratings on the whiskeys, but I would put this at a three and a half if I was going on a one to five scale. Probably a six on a one well, to ten scale. Why don't, why don't you compare it to some of the other whiskeys that we've done? Johnny Walker Red is about the equivalent level in terms of my satisfaction overall. Okay. Seems okay. pretty average. Which yeah. is yeah, which Johnny Walker Red is actually the average one mm -hmm. that average and scotch anyway as yeah. far as that goes. It's at a um, lower price point than this, but yeah. um ooh, pardon well, once in a while I actually, probably wouldn't mind dropping the extra couple Actually bucks with the, with it being an bag. Irish one, wouldn't it what would you compare it to just a regular Jameson? <sighs> Um, I put it because I haven't actually had a regular Jameson. Yeah. I, I like regular, regular Jameson just as an average every day. It's yeah. decent. I would probably put this at a, just a slight notch below the Jameson. Um, at least two Jameson to three notches a below. A little bit smoother, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Two to three notches below any of the cask mates the, Jamesons because as far those as, have more distinct flavor to them. As far as the harshness, uh, I'm concerned, it's it's more. Uh, it's more like a bourbon to me. Yeah, yeah, it does have some harshness to it, and that little bit of a bite. Yes, and there's some uh, some toasty and woody notes that kind of give it a little more character. Yeah, but in terms of the overall smoothness and drinkability, yeah, I mean it's um, it's it's really actually it is easy to drink. Yeah, I will give you that. It's not as harsh as like say uh, uh, Nom Greek. I would call uh, it a less flavorful alternative to Knob Creek. Okay. Or Maker's Mark. Although I don't think Maker's Mark is specifically a bourbon. I haven't actually tried. Uh, no, Maker's yeah. Mark is, I think, a Scotch. No, it's not made no. in Scotland. <laughs> it's, it's at least a whiskey. It no, might, yeah, that's it right. It might that's be right. a bourbon. <laughs> that's right. Yes, 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 yes. I'm just thinking of something different. Mm. Uh, never mind. <laughs> okay. So I thought this went off the rails earlier, now Boosh. It's you, gone even you, further. You need to be the quiet man yeah, before Boosh we completely <laughs> wind up with a train wreck. But well, it's a it's a good whiskey. It is actually a very good whiskey. And it's, it's actually a very drinkable whiskey. It's definitely worth the $30 price point. Um, looking back on it, having experienced this, I would probably pay full price for it. Versus the sale price with yeah. the Ibotta coupon, but it's even better yeah. with the Ibotta well, coupon. Well, actually, have you seen this anywhere else? No. Besides Stompers. No. I saw it at Stompers. I've been looking for this fucking Hannaford <laughs> for a long time because I had the coupon, but it doesn't show up at any of our local supermarkets or stores. No. Well, we had to go to Stompers. And usually, usually a supermarket just go with what sells. Mm -hmm. So, But this should sell better. Yes. Anyway, it's a good whiskey. I would buy it again. I would drink it again. And um, like I said, the sale price and the coupon are definitely a bonus, but I would pay a full $34 price for this bottle. I would too. Cool. It's actually a very good good uh, whiskey. It's whiskey! A, it's an easy sipping whiskey. Yes, it is. And that's <sighs> actually what is good. It would be good mixed. It would be good just on its own. Yeah. And I know what I'm doing next weekend. Not finishing the bottle, but making a dent in it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yep. I think that about wraps it up, folks. Thanks for uh, tuning in and, and listening to the ramblings. We yep. may have both had a couple of drinks before this one. <laughs> More well, than a couple. <laughs> More than a couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, EM Destroyer's got a bit of a heavy hand, and he's been making mm -hmm. my Jack and Coke since we left the bar. So You're and, welcome. <laughs> and Thank actually, you. I, I had, at the bar, I had him a bond, yes. so uh, that kind of... Straight yes. up he had bond. an O'Doul's, not an O'Bond. Not an O'Stool's. <laughs> I don't drink those stools. It's pretty smooth for non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> actually, actually, I will say that I do. That I, I did have one. I have one. There is a picture of it, but I think I had something else that night too. But I can't remember what. <laughs> you can't remember. <laughs> oh, no. It's getting worse. Hit, hit me up an email link down there or in the comments if you no, want. I mean the, uh, to drink. 
if you want the picture of Boosh with the no duels. <laughs> or you can just go back and check out our review of five non-alcoholic beers in which we did O Duels and O Duels and Bar. Yeah. <clears throat> was it St. Polly Girl in that too? Yeah. That was in the second one. Yeah, I remember that. We did the first one with five different non-alcoholics, then we did a second one with three different non-alcoholics. And it was St. Polly Girl Coors and Bex? Heineken. Bex. No, Bex did have one. Bex. Bex yeah. did have one in the... Uh, Ooh, the, Bex. The, the direct uh, Miller, I think, had one, too. Yeah. But we might and be Bush. revisiting that concept at some point because there are some newer non We do have some new ones out. from some of the other from some of the other breweries that have uh, popped out. I believe Heineken has a new one out. Yep. Zero point zero. Yeah. Where yep. they show the guy cracking one open in the boardroom. Yep. yep. I'm gonna put on my five pack belt. Thanks again, Bill. <laughs> and I'm gonna waltz into work one day with a five pack of Heineken zero point zero. See how long it takes for me to be in the HR office. <laughs> Nope, there is no alcohol in this. <laughs> Company policy says I am not allowed to arrive to work inebriated or become so while on the clock. There is 0.0% alcohol and no chance of me being inebriated. Which one was that? Oh, Heineken 0. The 0. Heineken 0. 0. Because all we know alcohol all the other ones do some, have some in it. Yep. But this is absolute zero. Yep. All right. <sighs> <laughs> hey, oh, is it, are we on the third wrap up now? No, not quite. Is this turning into second. one of those schlitz? Yes, no, no. my favorite. No, no, no. Or, no, or, or the the, the, the uh, uh, Alan's coffee brandy one? <laughs> yep. We are, we are All not. time favorite. <laughs> First one I ever saw. <laughs> we are not going out on the town. <laughs> Deal. Well, that's true. So this well, we just came from the town, so... Yeah. There you go. This is not quite going to be the train wreck. <laughs> Sounds good, guys. Wrap but, it up. All right. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, folks. Hit us up down in the comments, the email link down below. Love to hear what you say. have to say about the Quiet Man traditional Irish whiskey. Watch the movie if you haven't. Yeah. While you're down there, don't forget to like and share this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're still pushing for those 1,000 subscribers. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers. Keep drinking. Peace out. And I don't have anything to... Nah. <laughs> You're driving. I ain't filling it back up. All right.